here with Kyle Dake just before the uh, Lehigh Cornell match. Kyle, I haven't talked to you for a while. Can you tell me a little bit about the uh, the match against the Greco champion Arson? Yeah, it was a, it was a fun match. Um, you know, it was, it was kind of cool to train something different. Uh, to train Greco was, you know, kind of brought me back to high school a little bit. Um, it wasn't <coughs> it wasn't the result I wanted, but uh, for the for the couple of weeks leading up to it, two weeks leading up to it, I had a lot of a lot of fun. Um, just training Greco, you know, learning hand fighting, getting better on top, getting better on bottom, um, you know, just picking up little little principles that can translate across all styles. And um, so you're saying you only trained specifically Greco for a couple weeks? Yeah, I spent ten days, you know, the ten total days training Greco. Um, in the room or match. out in the uh, well, Colorado Springs? I was at OTC and uh, trained out there with a couple of the Greco guys and Coach Matt Lindland, and then. Um, the week before, the six days before, uh, five days before, we went down to New York City. Uh, Coach Lindley came in with uh, Jordan Spieler from Florida. He's uh, third on the ladder right now. So, um, you know, I got some decent training in, um, but the match, the match itself, was fun. You know, I had a good time. You know, I turned the Greco champion itself. I knew that my my parterre has definitely gotten better, and uh, I just keep trying to improve. So I know Coach Lindland is trying to get you to go both ways. <laughs> what have you told him? You know, it's kind of like a wait and see type of thing. Um, you know, I gotta. <clears throat> my biggest goal right now is to, is to win a world championship this year in Las Vegas. Um, and, and right now, uh, assessing myself, um, I think freestyle is the going to be the easier path for me just because I've been training it longer. Even though we have some great guys in both in the United States and in the world at that weight class. Uh, you know, I just I just feel more comfortable wrestling freestyle. Um, Greco, there's a lot of unknowns for me. Um, there's a lot of things that could happen, a lot of little tricks that, you know, I don't know. In freestyle, uh, you know, there might be one or two things, tiny little tricks that I don't know. Um, but for the most part, I, I kind of know what's coming and, um, and kind of assess the situation. And I'm constantly trying to get better in, in situation or er, position situations that I'm weak at. Um, so, so that's the fun part for me is, is keep continuing to learn. But um, okay, did the Greco hand fighting help you when you were done with the freestyle wrestling? Well, I was done for a week and a half, and then I um, got injured again. So, um, so it's not hard yet. to say. Okay. Hard to say. Uh, so you're banged up a little bit right now. Do you have any plans for when your next competition will be? Uh, as of right now, no. I was supposed to go to Moscow or Krasnyarsk to wrestle in the Uregan tournament this past weekend, and then I was going to go to Paris this coming weekend um, to wrestle. And uh, you know, didn't work out. Uh, everything happens for a reason. You just got to roll with the punches and, and um, assume that everything that happens is the best possible thing that could happen. Thanks for your time, Kyle. No problem.